Welcome back to another video editing tutorial in the free software Caden Life. In this video, we're going to be looking at the crop and transform effects so that we can change the look of our video. Um, basically, we can zoom in and just watch one portion of our video, like the top right hand corner. We can zoom out, we can drag and move the video around to a different location. To get started, I'm going to read in a video clip. I'll just click up here on my add clip and I can find a nice clip here of this cyclist that we've used in the past. So if we play this, it just shows us, here's the cyclist grabbing his bike. But maybe we want to zoom in and only be, we don't want to see these bikes over here. We don't like the way that shot looks. So we can just zoom in and just see this portion here. There's a couple ways we can do it. But first, let's left click and drag this down to our video track one. So we have our video here. And I'm going to go to the bottom right and zoom in so we can kind of see our, a little bit larger view of our timeline. And now we can see what this looks like. I'm going to left click on the playhead and just hold and drag till I get to the point so I can kind of see. So the camera does move a little bit. That doesn't really matter. Let's just, for all intents and purposes, let's just cut in maybe like where his knees are and have the video be kind of this portion here. So we need to apply a crop uh, effect. So we could just type in crop up here. Actually, it's not really crop we want to do. Um, even though the effect is, is called crop, it's under the transform effect. So we're going to left click on transform and drag it down into here. And then we see we have the options up here under these properties. And we can have different, in the last video we did the speed under motion, we did speed. And we can actually apply multiple effects uh, to one single clip. So right now we have speed here and we have transform. In this little triangle we toggles which one we're viewing. We can view both at the same time. Speed only has one setting to change. I'm going to delete it though. And But this transform effect has multiple different settings. So what, for example, we can do, the biggest thing by default is maybe size. So we can come here and change the size, the size just like we did with speed. We can change the size to 200% and hit enter. And then it zooms in 200% based off of the top left hand corner. We can then change like this X and Y. We can just use our scroll wheel and change like slowly. It's moving over pixel by pixel. Or we can type in like negative 300 and it'll move over on the X axis that much. But what we can also do, I'm gonna reset this back to how it was. I'll click these three lines here and go to reset effect. And that just resets everything back to how it was before we made any changes. Another way we can move it around just by clicking here, there's a little dot in the center. We can left click and then we can move this video to any port place we want. If we play the video, it'll just play from right there. So it's actually playing, it just has some black lines up here. We can resize. So if we go to the edge, we can actually resize this. And it's gonna resize it uniformly because we have uh, this little link checked here, keep uh, lock aspect ratio. So our width is now 602 and our height is now 339. We see those numbers change as we move this. The size changes, so now it's 52%. So that's another way we can change it. We can come over here to the percentage and just scroll wheel up and down and change it. We can do these different uh, handles or these different dots on the corner and move it around that, or change the size that way. And then we can also move it around. So those are the, it's kind of cool, the different ways we have of, of changing this video. Um, but yeah, if we want to go in, and that's why it's kind of nice sometimes to use these numbers, because if we actually want to zoom in, um, like greater than 100%, we start to lose that center, that center dot. We don't know exactly where it is. So it's, it gets harder to move around, especially if we're in at like 300%, then it's hard to see. So that's why it's nice to use the X and Y in that case sometimes. So we might go negative 200 for here, uh, or maybe let's just go back to zero. And maybe that's too much. Let's go to 200 on this. Okay, so now we can kind of see here, but we can barely see that little dot, so we'll bring it over to there. So now let's play this. We can go back to the beginning, or roughly the beginning, and we can play and see he's grabbing the bike, he's going. And if we want to see what this looks like compared to the original video, we still have it over here in our project bin. We can click on Clip Monitor, and we can see uh, what, what it looks like there. So here he is. This is what our project looks like. And in the clip monitor, this is what the original shot looked like. So we can see how far in we are, how far cropped in we are. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's also rotation. So if we go back to our project monitor, we can also rotate this shot. So we probably, this one's pretty level. We probably wouldn't want to, but we could rotate it a tiny bit. And we just click and now it's rotated. But 
we have a, we see a black line there. So if we did rotation, we'd want to move this up to maybe like you know a certain point because what's happening is as we zoom out here, it's actually just rotating the whole thing. So we get some black appearing, and uh, so depending on what you're doing, rotation is an option. Um, yeah, that is the basically that's the effect for transform. There's some different ones. If we want to delete this effect, it goes back to normal. We've got letterbox. We can just drag in, and that just does black bars on the top and the bottom. And we can change the size of it. So if you want to create kind of like a cinematic effect, have an ultra wide screen, it'll still export the video. 1920 by 1080 or whatever your settings are, but it'll export it with a black box like this, it's like it's called letterboxing, and it just kind of helps draw your eyes to like a certain portion of the video. So it's letterboxing and edge crop kind of does the same thing. I'll just show you a few of these with edge crop. If we drag it in, we can crop just a certain edge. So from the right, we can crop in a little bit. So it it cuts out part of the right, and then it also is centering the. It recenters the video, but it cut out part. So that's another way we could do it. If we want to cut out those bikes over there, we can just do this. So that cuts out those bikes, um, and but then it still shows this portion of the video, so we can watch and see, um, yeah, what that looks like. And then again, just like in the other tutorials, we can render this out, save it to a certain place on the computer. I'm not going to do it here, but uh, you get the idea. Um, and there's some of these things have key are key frameable. We'll talk about keyframes in future tutorials. But what that lets us do is actually apply. If we wanted to do a good example, might be this letterboxing. If we want to keyframe the letterboxing, which I don't know if it even lets us do, but it would be animated, so it would like slowly. We would see this part moving as the video is also moving. Whereas right now, where whatever we set it to, it stays that way. That's how we could like zoom in on the shot while the shot is actually playing is by using keyframes. And again, um, check out future tutorials where we'll learn how to do that. Appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, get involved in the conversation. Leave comments below of types of videos you'd like me to make or if you want to learn a specific thing that I'm not covering. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next video.